Okay, Ebony, so I think you know this, but doctors say that we need to drink about half our body weight in ounces every day. That's crazy. Okay, that makes sense. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you would need 100 ounces of water per day if you're not doing anything strenuous. Easy enough. Easier said than done, but okay, so here's a question. How do we know how much our pets need? Well, it's Pet Hydration Month, in case you didn't know, and we talked to a veterinarian about how much water our pets should drink each day and how to tell if they're dehydrated. Hello, I'm Dr. Allison Smith from the Village Veterinary Medical Center in Knoxville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna show you a few ways that you can check your pet's hydration status at home. So Lily is gonna help us demonstrate a few tests today. Um, the first test that we can do is the skin turgor test. And if we look at our pets from the side, find the skin right in between their shoulder blades, lift the skin and release it. And if they are nice and hydrated, the skin will have good elasticity and return to its normal position quickly. If they are dehydrated and we pull the skin up, it will remain up when we let go and it'll stay in the tinted position. Checking hydration status in a cat is very similar to what we do in the dog. So first we can do a skin test to assess their hydration. And on love bugs here, if I turn to the side and we lift the skin in between the shoulder blades, we want it to return to its normal position very quickly. If a cat is nice and hydrated, the skin should return to its normal position quickly because it's very elastic. If they're dehydrated, when you tint the skin back here, it will remain pointed up when you release it and stay in that tinted position. So that can be a sign of dehydration, but with love bugs here, it returns to normal quickly. She is nice and hydrated. A second test that would be a rough estimate for you at home is to look at her gums in her mouth. And when we lift up her lip and look at her gums, we want them to be pink and moist. And if we touch it with our finger, if they're, we can feel how moist they are. If you feel like the skin of your finger sticks to the gums and you have to peel it off, that can be a sign that they're not well hydrated. So providing water for your pet is very important, um, keeping their hydration status up. And if there's any question, you can see your veterinarian to confirm that diagnosis. But those two tests are something easy that you can do at home to have a good idea. Um, it's always good to keep out fresh, clean water for your pet. Um, some people really like to use circulating water fountains. You can also provide ice cubes. And it's most important for your dog to have one ounce of water per pound of body weight per day. And if we can do that for our pets, we'll keep them nice and hydrated.